Hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome to a playthrough of a game called Control. Recently I received a comment from uh, a longtime viewer who said that uh, the next game that I should play on my channel is Control. I'd never heard of this game. So I went out and I looked for it and I watched a teaser trailer for it and thought it looked really cool. I thought, that looks like something I would want to play. There's like some science fiction aspect to it, uh, some kind of mystery. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of horror in it because it looked kind of creepy. I'm not sure. I don't know much about this game at all. But I am going to take a moment and just read a quick description. After a secretive agency in New York is invaded by an otherworldly threat, you become the new director struggling to regain control. And control is capitalized. Control is Jesse Faden's story and her personal search for answers as she grows into the role of the director. The world of Control has its own story, as do the allies Jesse meets along the way. Jesse works with other Bureau agents and discovers strange experiments and secrets. It just looks like a really cool world to explore, and I, I had to play it. So I even went to the trouble of downloading Epic Games' installer, and I bought it from Epic Games. And now here we are, ready to play some Control. I'm going to hit New Game here. And it's going to ask me for some brightness stuff. And I think this looks good. I have subtitles turned on. And I turned the brightness up a little bit because when I record things, they tend to be darker by the time they get to YouTube. So I turn up the brightness a little bit. I have it set on headphones because that's what I play with. I use headphones. Hopefully that's okay for you guys. You probably wouldn't even notice a difference anyway. Let's start a new game. A warning. This is going to be weirder than usual can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times, it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Well, first of all, who is she talking to? Hello? Anyone here? Anyone here? I don't know. Let's look around. Federal Bureau of yeah, Control. I see it. But what is it? Um, I can feel it. It resonates. What is it that you Things see? Things you show me, my friend. I forget. It's all in my head. Uh huh. There's no you, right? Okay. I'm moving around. Yeah. Okay. So. Where's everybody? Yeah, where is everybody? I need everybody? someone to point me in the right direction. Uh, 
Okay. So I guess we're going to go through security here. If you've never watched one of my uh, Let's Plays before, I like to explore. I like to see as much as there is to see. I will often run in the opposite direction that the game is pointing me because I like to see as much as I can see. Now, isn't that a strange picture? <laughs> and I don't know if you guys noticed it, uh, but when they were zooming in from outside when she was talking, um, there was that picture up there that was like, that's weird, um, from behind the dude, and then he turned out to be the guy that was mopping. That was weird. It was a weird picture, right? Pretty strange. And what is up when I, when I look at that thing there, there's like some kind of strange effect on the screen, so... Lots of stuff to learn. We don't know what the heck's going on, man. Um, let's look at this. Oh, hold it down. Okay. Correspondence. Let's uh, let's open our collectibles here and uh, move over to collectibles, research and records, case files. The correspondence is what we just picked up. Reminder: certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. Huh. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, Please notify your supervisor immediately. Uh, that's another thing about my playthroughs. I read everything. So if you don't like to listen to somebody read, you're not going to like my playthrough. Well, hopefully uh, things that we can interact with are always going to have a little circle on them. Otherwise, how will we know what we can pick up? Please wait here, it says. Well, I guess we're going to go... Oh, that door opened. Okay, I didn't do anything, it just opened. What's this business? Uh, internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. Okay then. Well, Jesse, I hope you know what's going on. Because I don't. And look up there. Is that creepy or what? It says, seek shelter. Uh huh. I got a red light. Seek shelter light on. Scary stuff. Uh, I wonder why that TV is so old. What year? What timeline does this game take place in? You know, even even these old monitors here. I mean, they're practically IBM monitors. Pretty old stuff. It looks like. And 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 there was a typewriter out here, right? Out here on this. Uh, <laughs> that's a very solid flag. Yeah, there's a typewriter here. But uh, that that uh, correspondence we read mentioned smartphones, smartwatches, so those things do exist in this world. Okay, so we've got a door here. Seek shelter. Okay, so here's a dude here. This is head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. How are you, Casper Darling? And here is that weird photo or painting our bureau at work. <laughs> okay, well, at least it has a name, a theme. And this here is the director, uh, Zachariah Trench. How are you, Mr. Trench? Okay, we're not going to get too far away just yet. Uh, here is a magazine called Game. Uh, I don't think I have a zoom. I can't zoom in. I have an aim. So I guess that's my zoom. We could zoom in a little bit with our aim and we could see that uh, game about secret agents. Exclusive. We could sprint. Doors open automatically. That's going to be a little weird maybe. Doors just flying open as I get close to them. That might be a little disturbing. Uh, this here. Research and records. Expenditure Summary, Executive Sector Q2, Major Staffing, Surveillance, Redacted, Data Center Initiative, Construction, Redacted, Redacted, Minor, Office Equipment, Janitorial Costs, Redacted, Mold Removal, HQ Livability, Costs, for Cost Breakdown Spreadsheet, 
See page 5. For five-year comparison chart, see page 9. This was compiled by the FBC Accounting Department by order of Director Zachariah Trench. Alrighty then. So this is what they spent a lot of money on in the second quarter and what they spent a little bit of money on. A couple things there that uh, we are not allowed to see. Old TV over here. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. The seal? The Federal Bureau of Control? Okay, that's an interesting typewriter looking machine right there. Yeah. And I guess these are pneumatic tubes for sending messages, urgent and not so urgent. And um, there's stuff written right there pipe station instructions. In case you need to re refresher on how to use the pipe station. And is there anything creepier than a TV with static on it? Uh, that's not really something you see very much anymore. I mean, I grew up, you know, with CRT TVs and antennas. And, you know, static was something you would see on TVs. You don't really see it on TVs anymore now that everything's digital, huh? It's creepy. Oh, good. The bathroom. I uh, can't interact with any of these... Uh, Sinks. Uh, nice, clean toilets. I'll give them that. Yeah, these are sparkling clean. Emergency first aid cabinet. I wonder if that's going to come into play at some point. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. She's been looking for the Federal Bureau of Control. Okay, why has she been looking for the Federal Bureau of Control? What's going on here? Why are these uh, papers on the ground here? And a coffee cup on the ground. Uh, something something happened here. Uh, to get into that room, you have to go through that door over there, I guess. Unless I could... Oh, I thought this was crouch. Why am I not crouching? Maybe, maybe the game hasn't taught me how to crouch yet, so I'm not allowed to crouch. I don't know. I hope that's the case, because I'm pretty sure that I mapped my crouch key. Yeah, see, we got like an old green screen monitor in there. What kind of world is this? Okay, good. We can interact with that. That's nice. Uh, I should probably actually take a look inside of this room and see if there is anything weird going on in here. It looks like um, somebody's office painting on the wall over there. Got your desk and that strange typewriter type machine there. A bunch of pneumatic tubes, a bunch of... Uh, books on the wall. Again, something that's a little anachronistic, right? Um, well, I don't know, anachronistic, because I don't know about this world, but you don't see that very much anymore, because uh, that kind of stuff will be in a computer somewhere instead of in books lined up on shelves on the wall. Uh, here, this looks like a room that maybe was uh, hastily exited, because people's uh, briefcases and folders and stuff are still on the table, maybe? And look, an old projector over there. See, this is weird. This is like all old technology. Uh, I'm, I mean, if we hadn't seen that correspondence about smartphones and such, you'd think that this was in the 80s, uh, maybe. Snack machine here, pistachios, potato chips, crackers. Bunch of generic snacks, it looks like, right? Very generic. Here is um, somebody's office. Nice big office here. And uh, the game is being very kind to us and letting us know what we can inter interact with. Let's check this out. This is correspondence to security order. Ooh. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Control. Attention all redacted. Something. A shark in his something. Although secure something. Permission to something. Following basic protocol. Something. Shoot to kill something. Good luck. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like, you guys familiar with SCP? Uh, this great web page with a bunch of stories of fantastical stuff. This is very SCP-like. Old TV there. I mean, cigarettes in here, you know. Probably allow smoking in here. This is like very 80s. Got um, intelligence bulletins here. Confidential stuff. Confidential, just put it up on the whiteboard. Big deal. Uh, some kind of incident report forms here. Please print clearly. 
Yeah, what is going on? Interesting. So she's she's been called here. She doesn't quite have amnesia. Amnesia is, you know, a trope you see in a lot of games. Um, I hear music playing. Oh, and it, oh gosh, this is kind of creepy. It sounds like somebody's humming to it. Okay, this is getting weird. It's disturbing me. R4 reports reminder. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. See, that's another thing that makes it seem like this is from the past. Paper. Paper everywhere. Well, I don't like this. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. So I really wish I could crouch and creep over here slowly because this guy is creeping me out. Where is this guy? I bet it's the uh, janitor, dude. Hello? Yep, it's the janitor, dude. Oh, whoops. Let's see if there's anything in here before I forget to look in here. So why is this guy not seeking shelter? Oh, look, a calculator. <laughs> look at that. Okay. What in, what in the world? It's bugging the crap out of me that that one note mentioned smartphones and stuff. <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Hey, excuse me. Uh -huh. Hello, how are you? Are you going to be weird? Oh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, later, you are relevant. What? There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hollowed. What? How's that I've now? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Oh, new mission. Welcome Aki to the, the oldest house. Aki is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. Huh? Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, uh -huh. that's him. What the hell? Uh, she was... Can he hear her thinking she was thinking about a face and then he mentioned the face welcome to the oldest house proceed deeper into the bureau <laughs> but first let's look in this closet oh there's nothing in here Ooh, do you think that we're gonna get to shimmy through vents in this game i hope so by the way her voice sounds very familiar the actor who uh portrays her voice sounds very familiar i can't i can't tell if it's like the same girl who did, um, gosh, I don't even remember the name, the girl that was in The Last of Us? Or is it the same girl that was in Life is Strange? I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What the? Wait. Okay, I guess this hallway just looks exactly like the other. 
What? 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 Huh? Um. Okay. Okay, this is weird. Um. You guys see what this is weird, right? Look, this door is still open from when I opened it before. Okay. Um. Actually, honestly, goosebumps. Um. Because we came up here from down there. Remember? We walked up here. We took a look at this uh, f f f painting of um, Dr. Casper Darling, right? We looked at that, remember? And then here was the painting of the janitor, or photo painting, I don't know which, and then of course there was this. And then we went this way, and remember, we walked in here, and there was like a... Uh, there was some stuff on the floor, remember? Somebody had dropped some stuff and we walked down a hallway. <laughs> what the hell? What if I go back? What happens if I go back? Oh my gosh, it's... There's a wall there now. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell, man? This used to be a way back to that hallway, but now it's not anymore, man. Oh, this is neat. This is very, very neat. Can we talk to him? No, can't talk to Ati. What the hell, man? And then look at this creepiness. Handprints. Those are some big ass hands, wouldn't you agree? Handprint, an upside down handprint there? How did somebody leave that handprint? How would you leave that handprint? Handprint there, handprint up there. Yeah, I totally want to get on this elevator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, sign me up. That's exactly what I want to do. So this room, okay, there's a thing up there that's telling you whether the door is locked or unlocked, I guess. Okay, I just wanted to come back in here and just see if this room was the same. It appears to be. Nothing seems to have changed there. Okay, I can jump. And... What the hell? I broke the floor! Look at that! What the... Okay, weird. It's one wimpy floor. Was... Was... Was this here before? Did I neglect to come over here? I can't. Didn't I come over here? I know. I know. I looked at this picture. Did I not notice this? I, I, it's possible I just simply didn't notice this. It's it's possible I didn't notice it. Let's see what this is. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. They're supposed to leave after you read them that? Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Okay, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Well, that's a nice nice painting there. It's quite nice, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? Quite lovely. I'm going to have to go back and watch my recording to see if this room was here before or whether it popped up afterwards. I gotta know, man. I gotta know. Uh, outside, life goes on. Cars going by, people standing around. Waiting for a bus, maybe. Leaves blowing. Uh, can't really read what that street name is. Barley Street, it looks like. Barley Street. Danger, high voltage. OK. 
Okay, and across the street is a furniture store, maybe? What do you think? Maybe a furniture store? Okay. Got a people, couple people walking here. Yeah, just uh, just casually strolling along. This is important stuff. This is it's important to pay attention to your surroundings. Uh oh, that's kind of weird. There's like a movie poster there, and there's like a handprint on it. It looks like it's called the house, maybe. But that handprint is kind of ominous looking, right? Especially after seeing those handprints upstairs. There goes a woman walking by there. You know, just um, people going about their business out there. Nothing weird, nothing strange, nothing unusual, except for maybe that poster. And you notice that we cannot leave. No, sir. Whew. Okay, let's move on. That, that's so weird that that broke. Is this the same? That's what this game's gonna be like. It's gonna be me going in rooms over and over again. Just to see if anything's changed. Freaking bizarre, man. <laughs> okay, well. Let's get on the freaking elevator, man. This isn't gonna be weird at all. Oh, gosh. The cell. And the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Hmm. Will you help? Yeah, I help. Okay. She was 11 years old. Starring Courtney Hope. I don't recognize that name. Oh, there's an old IBM computer. That's that's the 80s. What is going on? Looks like a floppy disk. <laughs> I'm loving it already. <laughs> I am loving it already. So cool. Did uh, I lose you there for a moment? Huh? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Yeah? 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Ah. Uh, 17 years. So that would make her, what, 28, I guess, maybe? I don't know. She had mentioned something happening when she was 11. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Proceed deeper into the bureau. All right. Well, it's not like I have anywhere else to go. I'm surprised that elevator is still there behind me. I thought for sure I was going to turn around. I was going to be a painting of a freaking janitor again. Uh, it is 4... 45. I hear an alarm. I hear an alarm. That's creeping me out. Okay, I don't like that sound at all. Whew, this is so freaking bizarre. Okay, something happened here. Somebody dropped their pneumatic tubes. Can I go into this room? What's making the noise? Now, the seek shelter isn't on there. In here. Okay, it was the same messages again. Nothing on the TV up there. Something here for us to look at. Approved terminology reminder. Reminder regarding drafting any public facing material. Now hold on just a moment and listen. What is that noise? No, that's not an airplane flying overhead. That's a that's a sound coming from the game. Whenever I'm looking at stuff, you hear that. Reminder regarding drafting any public-facing material. 
while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines, words or phrase to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud, or pride will be remembered. Words or phrases to avoid Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, apologies or sorry. What the hell is going on? Alaska, scissors, what? Of course, we don't know what the Willow AWE is either. <laughs> Freaking weird, man. So we got director dude over there. He looks suspicious. Uh, Economy Magazine, the oldest man in the world. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. <laughs> They're implying that it's not. Danger, this machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. What? Okay, I guess that's just a game thing. That's just the game drawing stuff, right? That, that didn't really disappear. That's just the game being weird, right? So, um... We cannot get into this room. You can see the red light up there. But I guess that maybe... I don't know. It's a card or something we can insert into it. I'm hearing something. Listen. I don't hear it now. It almost sounded like somebody moving around or... Yeah, very... Very subtle scraping noise. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Ah, don't take office equipment outside of the building. Okay, this is starting to seem like Prey now. Hopefully you've played Prey or watched my playthrough of Prey so you know what I'm talking about, but is that a stapler or an altered item? These are creepy ass pictures. They're so lifelike. It's just weird. It's like he's really standing there looking at you. I'm not a fan. Please recycle. Office rules of conduct speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No using the photocopier for personal projects, but somebody wrote or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery spelled wrong. See, they mentioned a 3D printer. What in what year does this game take place, man? Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential uh, projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes the new one. It's amazing how many people don't follow that simple, courteous rule. Let's take the light. I'm not a coffee drinker, but still. If you finish the Joe, you make some O. It's, it's very simple. We haven't gone into this room yet. Looks like an, a mirror image of the other one. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. <laughs> How rude. What do I keep hearing? Oh, there's stuff going through the pneumatic tubes. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hearing. We've got the red phone here. First aid. Your first aiders are, and there's some names there. I wonder if there are people who worked on the game. Now this, Gen Central Executive. That one actually makes a noise if you walk too close to it. <gasps> Son of a... F Investigate the noise in the director's office. That was a pretty, pretty loud noise. That's pretty, pretty loud. I don't know where the director's office is. Maybe it's right there. I don't know. Office of the director, Zachariah Trench. Well, there you go. Was there like a save in this game? Can I save it? Trench, do not disturb. 
Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Sup, dude. What is going on? He can't trust them. Well, let's go into the room where we heard the big scary sound. Uh, surprised to see that nothing has changed back here. Surprised indeed. The elevator's still there. Everything looks the same. Well, let's go investigate the big scary noise, shall we? I believe we shall. Leaving your confidential crap on the ground there. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. So we've got a map. Oh, it's a cool map, to too. Pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? What? You need me to pick it up? Okay. Well, I can't move around on the map. It's kind of weird. You want me to. Who's she talking Something's to? Something's outside. Whoa, what? Oh, it was coming here a mistake. What's going on? Why does it look so weird behind me? Something's outside. What? 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 Okay, weird camera stuff. Okay, weird camera stuff. What the hell? Okay. Oh, there's blood on the wall. Blood on the wall. Okay, he's dead. All right. He's dead. He's dead. Certificate. Okay. Anything on his desk to look at? Just a bunch of blood. So for whatever reason, he has decided to take his own life. Picture of somebody with a baby. Doesn't look like him. Got some uh, noble sheriff spirits there. Blood all over his phone. There he lies. 125 is what that clock says. And then there's a picture of him with whoever that guy is. Well, we're supposed to pick up the murder weapon, so let's do it. We don't want to make the game mad. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. What the Where hell? What the hell? What? Okay, now we have some kind of power bar in the lower left hand corner. Unmapped area. Collectibles. Multimedia. Objects of power. That is the video that we just watched. A darling presentation. Objects of power. Oh. No? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, 
fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. Whatever you say, board. Whatever you say. Forward we go. So, if I didn't have subtitles on, would I be able to read any of that stuff? I mean, would I just be lost? <laughs> like I'm not already lost. <laughs> What? Okay, well, let's um let's do some platforming. What else are we going to do? Oh jeez. All right, cool, cool, cool. Good job. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, I got to fight. Oh, I got to fight. No, I don't want to fight. 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 What is that thing and what is that up there? Oh, I don't want to fight. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Can it jump? What the hell? Oh, oh. Okay, my melee is more melee than I thought it was going to be. <sighs> okay. Alright, we got it. Whatever the hell that was. We took care of it. We took care of it. Whatever the hell that was. Now what do I do? The same gun. Oh, it's a gun. This is what I saw floating. Yeah, now you have a gun. What's that stuff? Oh, I bet you this is like um, energy I could pick up. That little bar in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, if it had gone down, I could probably come back over here and pick those things up and replenish my energy. I'm going to guess that just because of the same color. Fire my weapon. Well, I'm not just going to fire it willy-nilly. Oh, terrible. Oh, good shot. Holy hell. Recharging. Okay, I was wondering what was going to happen when I ran out. Okay, good. <laughs> the service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically. When not in use. Okay. Alrighty. Now what? Guess I'll drop down here. I'm sure it'll be totally safe. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Not a damn thing to worry about. Oh my god, look at these things. Well, they sure do take a lot of shots. Can he get to me? Creepy ass mofo. That's a lot of shots. Is there more? What's going on? There's more. Are they just going to keep coming? Oh! That one 
may have had a weapon. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, sure enough. Oh, she... Oh, she... she. Okay. Who do you think you are? Shooting at me, bastard. Oh. Oh. Scary sound effects. Okay, I can crouch. Crouchity crouch. Okay, so there's no reload. <laughs> I keep pressing R to reload. What's this? Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements, elements to restore health. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. She is... It's quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? She's happy to be here, man. She is happy... To be here. Look at her. Oh, interesting. Okay. I guess this is new. Missions. Welcome to the oldest house. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. Guided into the building by the janitor, Ati, Jesse finds Zachariah Trench, the director of the Bureau, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to the body and is translocated to the astral plane. The strange board encourages her to bind the gun, an object of power called the service weapon. She succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. Okay. Uh, we have some new stuff here. Director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege. Zachariah Trench. And then, case files, service weapon, containment procedure, no unique procedures required, description, peri-utility, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to do something. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of something. The object will determine whether something... If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the something, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, something, many forms throughout history, something, uh... Um, Majolner, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's um, Thor's um, hammer, right? Excalibur, Vero Nostra, all weapons that something of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, blank. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. Huh. Oh, okay. okay. Alrighty then. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Is that a pencil sharpener? Well, right there? Yeah. Director's office. Here's the map. Got a bunch of question marks. Um, and I guess... Uh, I can't move my cursor to show you what I'm talking about, but you see that yellow diamond there. I guess that's uh, where I'm supposed to go. Proceed to fear further into the bureau. She's like, yeah, whatever. Okay, well that's not weird or creepy at all. It would be weirder or creepier if I hadn't seen that in the uh, 
preview trailer I watched. I don't know what it means. I don't know if it's something I should be afraid of. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Well, oh, I don't like that I aim over that shoulder. Can I switch the shoulder that I aim over? Because I don't want to aim over that shoulder. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, 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 okay. Stay crouched, stay down, stay down, girl. No, oh, she stands up when she shoots. S strange sounds coming from behind me. Okay, reload gun. Reload. Reload gun. I know there's one more out here. At least one more. Strange, scary sounds. Oh, okay. Open assets. Clearance level. You do not have a clearance level. Conceptual material undefined reading? Conceptual material. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, oh, oh. For a split second, I saw his health bar show up there. Okay. Huh. Oh, that was weird. I was um, hitting the wall instead of where I was aiming, and I have lost some of my health. Um, so I'm not too happy about this. I wish I could aim a different way. Hiss guard. Research and records hiss guard. Oh yeah, we heard him hissing. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist by order of director Jesse Faden. We ordered this? Field research on his entity. His corrupted security guard. Confidential summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Okay. Where are these health items? Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the health little health bits that they drop disappear quickly. Oh! oh. <laughs> we are now the director. It's now a picture of us. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else weird going on in here, man? Hear those... Pneumatic tubes still hissing by, man. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. No, it still says Zachariah Trench. Okay, well that, that to me seems like a mistake. That seems like a mistake on their part, right? That should, that should, that should have Jesse's name now, right? Should totally have Jesse's name. Clearance level one. Oh, that's all new. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, direct. Man, I can't. I can't look. Okay, director Jesse Faden. There she is. <laughs> the elevator's gone. As we knew it would be, man. It's gone. 
Has anything changed in this room? Nothing. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. Picture of Jesse there. I'm going to see if I can change which sh shoulder I aim over. Because I think I'm going to want to be able to switch that as time goes on. Head of Research Override. Well, I'm going to hope that I can save the game here because this is a good place for me to stop when we come back next time. I guess we'll go that way. I'm going to guess that I can't go this way yet. I don't have the clearance, perhaps. So, uh, we will continue on. This game is looking pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I am really looking forward to playing more of it. Um, I don't really know when I'm going to have the time to play it, unfortunately. Uh, as you know, I am currently also playing Fallout 76 and Dishonored 2 on my channel, and they take up most of my time. So this game will not have any type of schedule as to when I post it. It's just going to be a case of I will post it when I have the time, and uh, I'm going to make time for this one. So uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, click on that little um, notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post one of these videos. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Maybe leave me a like. Let me know that you are interested in seeing more of this pretty freaking cool game. Thanks for watching, everybody. I sure do hope you guys join me again in the next episode.